Hi, my name is Cody, and I did a project over like how to make an arcade system. And right now, I'm gonna show you two pictures of like a before and after. And when I first started it, I just had a keyboard and a computer that I got. Anyways, um, I'm going to show you the steps and requirements that you need to take to, to be able to make an arcade system. And the first thing you ultimately want to do is find out what kind of computer you're going to use. I use the eMac, which isn't that popular with making arcade games, like, but the most popular would have to be a Windows. A Windows. It doesn't really matter what kind of Windows, but hey, um, let's just click on the Windows 8. See, this would work, but you probably wouldn't want to buy a brand new computer just for this. Um, any older Windows computer would work also. Then after you get your computer, you would want to go to um, to get a joy joysticks, and I went to this website called xarcade.com and right here you can buy them pre-made um, your joysticks and these are USB adapters and it can adapt to your PC or a desktop it ultimately doesn't matter there are two of them that they sell here one is with a trackball which is this in the middle and one is just without the trackball and I chose one without the trackball just because it was about 50 bucks cheaper and if you, if you look right here um it took mine about 7 days to get here and i was quite happy with it and also there are multiple adapters you can put with it you can um adapt it to an xbox a gamecube playstation 2 like atari anything like that it gives you guidelines like if you read on more then you would want to get an emulator, and the emulator that I use is Mac Mame. And if you go here to this website, macmame.org, you can see all the downloads and just read the titles and find the right download emulator that you want. And when you find the one you want, the emulator looks like this down here where I'm pointing at with my cursor. And after that, you want to get some ROMs or some games you want to play on on your emulator. And I went to romnation.net, and there's many, many places that where you can get games, like coolroms.com, emuparadise, etc. Just type in, like, MAME and ROMs, and you'll find many places. And so you go up right here to the ROM slash games section MAME you click on your MAMES and already there are quite a few games and this they're alph alphabetical order and you can see how many games there are quite a few thousands of games that you can put on your system you just have to find one that is adaptable with the kind of computer you have and the emulator you have um i had trouble finding um roms just because i had a windows i mean i had a mac computer and most of the time people used windows because um i guess it just worked better i i don't know i didn't have that luxury to choose what kind of computer i had to take and that's about it for setting it up and everything. It's pretty self-explanatory after that. Um, yeah. If you want to go all out on your um, arcade like I am, and you want to build an arcade cabinet, I, I just want to tell you that there are a couple things that would be helpful if you did. For one thing, there is the kind of wood to buy. 
the kind of wood that most people buy just because it's a little bit cheaper and actually it works a little bit better. It is called particle board. And you can buy it at your local Home Depot, Lowe's, or if you have a Menards. Also, if you want to do paint, paint doesn't really matter. Just, I got um, a more glossier paint just so it makes it shine a little bit better. Yeah, I am going to show you how to install the X Arcade um, joysticks and stuff. It is quite simple, um, but it took me a long time because I had no one to show me. And first, you pick on any normal game, and let's just say Frogger. Okay, and when you get it up, you click the tab button, and that goes you to this screen right here, and it says input jet installed one. I'll show you again. Click the return button and you hold it there until it says that and that's basically how you install it but if you want to install it but yet you want to save it there's this button on the back right here you click it once and that red button turns off you click it twice it turns back on and once that happens you have saved your changes that you have made to this game and once you save a change to the game, it applies to every single game that you have made. I mean, that you have put on your main. And that was a little quick tutorial of how you, of how you um, s set up the X Arcade. Yeah, I am going to show you how to install the X Arcade. Um, joysticks and stuff. It is quite simple, um, but it took me a long time because I had no one to show me. And first, you pick on any normal game, and let's just say Frogger. Okay. Okay, and when you get it up, you click the tab button, and that goes you to this screen right here, and it says input gen.